60-year-old male patient known to have congestive heart failure with ejection fraction 30% presented to the ER with profound hypotension. His blood pressure was measured 70 over 30 mm mercury. He was tachycardic with heart rate 120 beats per minute and he had cold extremities. He was alert and oriented to time, place and person. His lung bases were clear to auscultation. His history of present illness is positive for two-day history of recurrent attacks of vomiting and diarrhea after he contracted acute gastroenteritis. After establishing an IUV access, the ER resident pulsed him with 1.5 liters of normal saline over one hour. His vitals improved only marginally. Blood pressure is now 80 over 40. Heart rate 110 beats per minute. You were called to help assess this patient's status and to specifically answer one question. Is this patient in need for further fluid therapy? The ER resident wondered if a center line is necessary to help guide further fluid therapy. You grabbed your vertebral echo machine and used it to perform assessment of the IVC diameter and inspiratory collapsibility. Together, these two parameters could be used as markers of the volume status of the patient. Here I will show you how to perform these measurements as part of goal-directed echocardiography. The transducer is positioned just below the ziphy sternum, 1 to 2 cm to the right of the midline, with a marker dot pointing towards the sternal notch, as you can see in the following picture. And here we go. You can identify the IVC as tubular structure as it inserts into the right atrium. Here is a labeled image. One of the hepatic veins is also seen clearly as it inserts into the IVC. Clearly you can see that the IVC is plethoric and its diameter is more than 2 cm, with minimal inspiratory collapsibility. Notice also the hepatic veins are markedly distended. Now let us place a mood line through the IVC 1 cm caudal to the junction of the hepatic vein and let us obtain a more tracing. This allows accurate quantitative measurement of the IVC diameter. Right now the image is freezed and Measurements of the diameter of the IVC is performed both in expiration and in inspiration. The measurements are shown to be 2.2 cm for expiratory diameter and 2 cm for inspiratory diameter. Together, the previous measurements indicate that the CVB is more than 20 mm mercury. This patient is actually volume overloaded and he is not in need for any further fluid management.